Hi, I'm Clayton, founder of Kickass Products, and I'm excited to introduce the next generation of Kickass Power Station. It's been three years in the making, listening to all of our customers' feedback and putting it into this system. We were one of the first to put DC chargers and solar controllers into a battery box solution, and we continue to do so. This battery box has so many features built in, I'm really excited to tell you all about them, and I'm gonna tell you why this battery box wipes the floor with all the other battery boxes on the market. Firstly, I wanna show you the integrated Kickass DC DC charger. It's 25 amps and it's also an MPPT controller. Now this is what makes this power station different. A lot of power boxes on the market have nothing at all or maybe even a VSR. They're not gonna charge your battery properly. It's worth investing in a DC to DC charger and you can learn heaps about that online or through my videos. Heaps of cigarette sockets and USBs, which I'll show you later. Our USBs aren't just your standard run-of-the-mill cheapos. They're high-speed charging ports, and we haven't cut any corners there because charging your phones and gadgets is super important these days. There's a master switch here. There's a voltmeter that's gonna tell you the status of your battery. Now, this box has more plugs and sockets than you can poke a stick at. Your big high-powered socket here on the side, you can use your optional kick-ass jumper leads with that as well. Uh, you can also use an inverter cable. You've got four quick access Anderson plugs here on the side. Now, we know that having plugs sticking out of your battery box isn't always convenient when you wanna have it pushed up in the back of your cab, of your canopy, or wherever else you're gonna put it. So this is really cool. We've got two in and out Andersons on the back, which can be flush mounted. They go up in here this way. On the back here is your access point for your DC-DC charger. It's a very special triple Anderson plug here which integrates the ignition wire which makes sure that your DC charger is going to function correctly. It's a very special feature this triple Anderson plug. Next to that is another standard Anderson plug for the input of your unregulated solar panel. The handles are integrated. They're not ropey things. We've really put some thought in that for the big Australian hands and we've made them nice and comfortable to hold on to and they also double as a tie down point for the optional tray. So all in all, you can see we've really thought it out and it's tough. This ain't no cheap flimsy box. This is kick-ass. Now those of you who've watched my videos before will be expecting that I'm going to get into every single intricate detail of this battery box. I can't change myself. I'm still going to do that. But before we do it, let's just stop for a second. Why would you want a portable power station in the first place? In the old days, you had to install a battery under the bonnet, plugs, sockets, cables, adapters. It was a lot of work and it cost a lot of money as well. Then when you sold that vehicle, it was too much hard work to take it out, so you'd sell it with the car and you'd have to start all over again. With a portable power station, it's easy to install, it's plug and play. You can take it from one vehicle to another, to your camper trailer, from your camper trailer to the tent for the kids to charge their phones, pick it up then, take it down to the fire with your fridge, drink your cold beers at the fire and impress everyone else. Now don't forget, you can even lend it to a mate. Just don't expect it to come back. You can also take advantage of all of the optional accessories, like the kick-ass jumper leads. Now these heavy duty guys can be used in emergency situations to jumpstart your vehicle. The optional mounting tray. Now this tray was a lot of work in our design to get it right. We wanted something that was easy to install and you could quickly release the battery box from it and you could put it back in and out any time. No one else has really done a solution like this before. We've also got inverter cables to run inverters and many, many other optional accessories such as our kick-ass portable solar panels. And I really want you to have a look on the website at the packages and the options to find out more about that. Righto, let's get into the details that make this box kick-ass. But before I do that, I wanna let you know that you can buy this power station on its own without a battery or included with a 120 amp hour kick-ass AGM battery. I'm gonna talk about the outside of the battery box, then we're gonna get inside, have a look at the wiring and the quality of that, and then the optional accessories that are available. Now, starting at the top of the power station, we have the Kickass 25 amp DC-DC charger with inbuilt MPPT controller. Now, as a side note, this is also lithium compatible, and for all the tech geeks out there, you can find more information about this unit on the product listing where there's a product manual and also lots of videos to tell you everything you need to know about it. On the front, you've got two 10 amp cigarette sockets. These are a must have for all your off the shelf 12 volt devices. Talking about USBs, there's four USB charging outputs. Now, 
a lot of people have experienced their phone charging super slowly or not at all from a cheap crappy USB and some USBs charging very quickly. With Kickass, they're gonna charge quickly because we haven't skimped on quality here at all. We know how important they are. You've got two 2.4 USB outputs and also two QC3. Now QC3 is a technology that will communicate with your phone to set up the best charging profile and that's how your phone can charge super quickly if it's compatible. So four fast, high-powered USB outputs. There's a master switch here for storage. So when you put it into storage, you can flick that off and flick it back on when it's out of storage. You've got your voltmeter here. This will give you the state of charge of your battery, as you can see here, and it's got a little gauge here that will show you green when it's all good, orange, and then going to red. Now on the side of the unit, you have a high-powered Anderson plug. Now this is not fused, it's connected directly to the battery. In fact, this is the only one that does not go through that master switch, and it's used for high-powered applications, such as our kick-ass jumper cables, which are great for emergency jump-starting of vehicles. And we also have an inverter cable for connecting up to our kick-ass inverters. Now, just note with this one that it is connected directly to the battery, but it does have a red Anderson plug, so you can't accidentally plug the wrong plug into it. You'll see here that you have four Anderson plugs, and then there's also another two here on the back. These are all connected together, and the sticker on top shows you that this is 50 amps combined, and it can be used as either inputs or it can be used as outputs. So you can plug your AC charger in for charging the power station, or you can plug in things like our kick-ass travel oven. So they can be used as inputs and outputs. So there's six of those in total. Four of them on the side for easy access, and there's two of them on the back, so if you want to push them up against the wall or up against your canopy, you can. So two flush mounts here. Now on the back of the box here behind the DC charger, you've got your triple Anderson plug. We've used this triple Anderson plug to incorporate not only your positive and negative coming from your start battery through the wiring kit, but also an ignition wire. Now the ignition wire is super important to ensure that the DC charger works the way it should, and you can unplug it and plug it in super easily. And next to that is another flush mount Anderson plug for plugging in your unregulated solar panel. Super smart and more plugs and sockets on it than any other box in the industry. Now I wanna take you inside of this power station and show you more about where the battery goes and then also the quality of the internal wiring. Okay, so I've taken the lid off and I'm gonna turn it upside down so you can see where the magic happens. You can see that we have a protective cover there's your triple Anderson and your solar input and your in-out Andersons. You can see they're the flush mount ones there. Positive goes to the battery positive. Negative goes to the battery negative. And this is a temperature sensor wire that will go to the negative terminal as well. So those two go together. So what I'm going to do now is take out these six screws, which you, you're not going to need to do this, but just to show you the quality of the wiring. And this is what you're paying for. You're paying for high quality wiring that's been created by our engineering team here at Kickass. Copper is expensive, and this is where you'll find the other power stations, battery boxes on the market. This is where they're gonna save money by putting in thin, cheap cabling. We don't, let's have a look inside. What you can see here is the kick-ass difference, and that is we haven't put the thinnest cable possible in here to save money. Our electronics engineers have made sure the cable is all made to specification. Everything is insulated. We put a lot of thought in the way that these cables run. Everything's got heat shrink protection. The terminals that clip on lock into place here. Everything's protected against vibration and chafing. Okay, you've got three auto reset circuit breakers. We don't wanna have something that requires fuses if you're out in the bush and you've gotta try and find a spare fuse. So these will automatically trip and then automatically reset. So they're an excellent solution. This really is the kick-ass difference and why you buy a quality product. And you hopefully never have to take the cover off to look at this because we've done it right the first time. Now, taking a look at the power station base itself, I wanna tell you about a challenge that we wanted to overcome, which we found in many of the battery boxes on the market, was the battery sliding around and moving around inside of the box. And we had to think about it, and we came up with these rubber mounting pads, and they stick like proverbial, you know what, to a blanket. And there's four of them. So when the battery sits inside of the box, it sits on these pads and it can't move anywhere. Couple that with the extra thick Velcro strap to pull it down tight in place, problem solved. Now the box is 
heavy duty, it's kick ass. And we didn't cheap out on the stickers either because we want it to look good. The handles we've made for large hands, we found a lot of them are uncomfortable or they've got little ropes to hang on to which hurt your hands, nice and comfortable. And they also couple in here as the mounting point for the optional tray. And you can see the slot here for the hooks to grab in. Good quality, kick ass base for a quality kick ass battery box. Okay, now it's time to talk about what's included with the power station and some of the optional accessories. As I discussed before, you can buy the power station on its own, empty, and you can supply your own battery, or you can buy it included with our kick ass 120 amp hour AGM battery. This is our mounting tray. We put a lot of thought into this. See how it's got lots of different mounting positions here in the bottom? We did that because people are going to be installing these in all kinds of situations. And maybe if you can't fit a bolt through here, you can fit one through over here. The strap goes all the way through the bottom, which makes it very, very secure when you're on those rugged and corrugated roads. So the box just drops straight in like that. It fits perfectly. You'll see the hooks on the side here. You hook the first side in, you put the second one in, put your fingers through the pull down tabs and lock it into place. How easy is that? And it's super important because it is a portable power station to be able to install it and remove it easily. So that's solved. Next up is the optional in-vehicle wiring kit. Now this in-vehicle wiring solution is special because the Kickass team have had to find a solution for the ignition wire. What's an ignition wire? Well, new vehicles now have smart or temperature compensating alternators and we need to send a signal to the DC charger to tell them that the vehicle is running. Now, up until now, people have been using just a positive and a negative wire, running it down to the rear of the vehicle. And when they need that ignition wire, they have to run a separate wire and zip tie it all together or put it inside of conduit. But now it's so common because people have these late model vehicles that we wanted to make a special cable and include everything inside. So if you look here, you've got your positive and you've got your negative, and then there's the ignition wire. Now that all fits together into a triple Anderson plug, so you can plug it into the power station and remove it. So let's start at the top. You've got your positive wire to go onto the start battery of your vehicle, the positive terminal. You've got the negative wire to go onto the negative terminal of your start battery in your vehicle. Now if you've got an old vehicle from the 80s, that's probably all you'll need to do. But most of us now have got late model vehicles. That's what the ignition wire is for. So you can see this little butt connector here. That butt connector connects onto the little extension cable here, and this will connect to the ignition source on your vehicle. If you want to know how to install that wire, you want to know more about that, there's videos on the Kickass site that's going to tell you more about how to install that. We're going to give you everything you need to know, but for now, just know that it's there and it's inbuilt into the wiring solution. There's a fuse here, okay, in case there's any short circuits, that's all included. There's also all of your zip ties, so you can either run it under the step treads of your vehicle down to the back or underneath the vehicle and zip tie it into place. Now inside this little packet here as well, there's a spare fuse, but there's also more terminals. So if you want to shorten this cable, you can. You can cut it, you can strip the cables back and you can replace these terminals with the terminals from the bag and you can adjust it to any length you want. The end product is you've got a cable that connects from the start battery of your vehicle all the way down to the back of your vehicle, to the triple Anderson plug, and that's what connects to the DC-DC charger input with the triple Anderson, the back of your power station. How smart is that? These jumper leads are a really good option for those of you who want the ability to jumpstart your vehicle or be a good Samaritan and jumpstart somebody else's vehicle. They plug straight in the side of the kick-ass power station via the high-powered Anderson connector, just like this. You'll see that it has a little gadget here, which is for spike protection. That'll protect your computer inside of your vehicle. And as you'd expect from Kickass, the alligator clips are like hand exercises. So if you've seen those super cheap budget jumper cables out there with the plastic sleeves that fall off and never connect properly, not the case here. These are super, super strong and the cable is as thick as my finger. Now remember the deep cycle batteries, the kind of batteries that we use in these power packs are not designed to be jump starting vehicles all the time. They're not designed to be in a car yard jump starting 10 cars a day. They're designed for deep cycling, but the occasional emergency jump start is absolutely fine. I do recommend once you've connected the positive onto the positive terminal of the battery being jump started and then the negative, you wait about five minutes before you start that vehicle. But what a great option to have in your battery box. 
Now remember that this is portable, so you can take the power station out of the vehicle and you can take it over to the vehicle that you want to jump start. And it just unplugs when you're finished. How easy is that? Next up is our high current inverter cable. As you'll see, it has a high current connector on this end and a positive and a negative ring terminal. That just plugs into the side of the power station into that high powered output. And it's perfect for use with our kick-ass 700 watt pure sine wave inverter, which is fantastic for charging laptops and any small AC appliances up to 700 watts. So have a look on the website for the package. And of course, if you want to, you can buy the inverter cable separately if you want to power other high current devices. Now we've talked about charging via the in-vehicle wiring kit. What we haven't talked about yet is charging from AC power and solar. So on the website, we have a range of kick-ass AC chargers. Now these will plug into any of the input output Andersons. Now AC charging is great for when you're putting the power pack into storage, or let's say you haven't been driving much or there's been no sun and you wanna get the pack charged up to its full capacity, plug your AC charger in. It's very, very good to do this now and then in any case, so everyone should have an AC charger. When it comes to solar, we have the unregulated solar input. So our kick-ass solar panels can have their regulator bypass and you can plug them directly into the MPPT controller. That's the optimum way to go about charging from solar. But if you do have solar panels that have a solar controller built in and you can't bypass it, you can plug that into the Anderson plugs here, the in-out Anderson plugs, any of those, and it will charge from there. The advantage of solar, of course, is once you get to your camp location, you can set your solar panels up. The solar panels are gonna power the power station, and then that's gonna run your fridge and all of your accessories so you can grow a beard and live in the bush with your kick-ass power station, and that's what it's all about. Well, thanks for making it this far into the video. I promised you I'd get intricate, and I have, and that's what the kick-ass brand is about. It's about all of the intricate details that make a high-quality product, and that's how this power station has taken so long to be made. It's taken us three years, and um, this power station is really the beginning of the full kick-ass solution. And if you know about our brand, we've designed our own portable fridges, solar panels, we've got 12 volt ovens, we've got hot showers, everything's designed to fit in as one solution. You're buying everything from one place. And remember that we're an Australian company, so you can call us and ask us questions and we're not going anywhere. We've been here for 14 years. Make sure you check out all of the videos and information on the website. We're gonna be making more videos every day. And thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Catch you later.